peace and love Aquarius peace and love and welcome to my channel ratchet Oracle 22 please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when the readings are posted this is going to be your weekly channel message for the week of November 27th through December 2nd I'm recording this message on the 25th um so 25th may be significant 25th of some month don't know what month um but y'all um if the messages resonate with you please feel free to share if you are a first or second decon aquarius then you are a um sidereal capricorn if you are a third decline Aquarius, you are an Aquarius in um, Sidereal. Remember that Sidereal astrology is closely related to your soul's blueprint and Western astrology is closely related to um, this lifetime and what's meant to happen in this lifetime, okay? Um, Sidereal is more so of what you need to hear while western astrology may stroke your ego and tell you what you want to hear all right so definitely look into your sidereal signs i'm going to clear out the energy um before the reading and then i'm going to get into some channeling and then we'll get into the cards okay For peace love and prosperity for Aquarius for this week I feel like you could be having some tooth pain and tooth pain usually starts at the root by the time it makes it to the surface it's like the root is already gone all right Aquarius so you could be dealing with some root chakra issues as well or spirit could be kind of saying, whatever you're dealing with in life right now, it's time for you to get to the root of the problem, okay? Someone could be thinking about some um, cosmetic dental surgery, or you could be having to get some dental work done or get a tooth pulled or something of the sorts, okay? Um, Aquarius, I also feel like this week there's something that's nagging at you, okay? So you could be you could find yourself like in a time loop of a very aggravating situation where you just feel like something is just aggravating and you would rather not deal with it. But maybe that's why spirit is saying, hey, if you get to the root of the problem, if you cut something off at the root, you won't have to worry about it continuing to repeat itself over and over and over in your life. OK, I don't know why I just got gothic or gothica. OK. So someone could have grew up with like this very gothic type behavior, or you may need to watch the movie um, Gothica with Holly Berry, okay? And then um, as soon as I thought of Gothica with Holly Berry, it took me to Hurricane Chris, okay? Someone could be dealing with someone by the name of Chris or Christopher or Christina, or someone's name could be Chris, Christopher, Christina, um, Krishan, all right. Um, someone could have been in the New Orleans area doing, during Hurricane Katrina. Okay, when I said Krishan, it immediately took me to Krishan Rock and Blueface. Um, I believe Blueface is an Aquarius and I believe Krishan Rock is a Pisces. So... Aquarius, you could be dealing with the Pisces, okay? Or um, Pisces, you could have Pisces highly aspected in your chart. Um, or you could just, even if you're not dealing with the Pisces, you could be in a relationship that kind of resembles Blue Blueface and Krishan Rock, where you're constantly having a fight with someone, okay? You're constantly going through up and downs with someone, but you can't let them go and they can't let you go, okay? 
It's so hard to let go. It's hard to let someone go, okay? But it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's very, I feel like you're in a very toxic relationship, okay? And if this is not romantically, you have a toxic relationship with a child or an ex or a toxic relationship with your job where it's like something that you don't want, but you feel like you can't let go of it. There is some type of uh, deep attachment or soul tie to something, okay? Or it's just not time for it to be over yet. There's still lessons that need to be learned, okay? Yeah, you guys could be like having to physically fight this person. Or there could be like a physical altercation between you and a child or a spouse or an ex. Or this could be someone you have children with. Or some of you could be like a domestic violence survivor. But you feel stuck, all right? You got the dancer card here, okay? Some of you could be taking dancing classes. You could be dealing with someone who's an artist or a dancer or a singer or a rapper, okay? Because people dance to music. So there could be some type of tide of music or perhaps you receive messages through the form of music or Perhaps you need to do yoga or dance to like release whatever this energy that's stored up in your root chakra. And then I just got the, um, how I love, love, love to dance with my father again. If I could get another chance. Yeah, so something could be going on with the father. You could be reuniting with the father or someone could, um, you could have a father that has passed away or is passing away soon, okay? Or spirit is telling you to reconcile with your father before it's too late. Because I literally heard, um, if I could have another chance. Okay, and that's that dance with my father. Okay, and I get that video with um, who sings that song? Luther Vandross. Okay, Luther Vandross. And yeah, Luther Vandross definitely has passed away. Okay, and I think Beyonce is in that video. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, or some of you could have a father who has health issues. Okay, Virgo rules health. Okay. Some of you, this could even be a mother with the pink card, feminine energy, or so the father of your child has health issues. There's something going on here, okay? The, uh, the other parent to your child could have some health issues that you don't know about or that you do know about, okay? I don't know. You could have a child that's leaving, losing a parent soon, or you could be losing a parent soon, or a spirit is urging you to reconcile that relationship before you lose a parent or before your ch or allow your child to reconcile with their um parent other parent okay before it's too late it's too late too soon yeah you got the sleeping bag okay so someone could have put someone out Okay, you could have put someone out of the house. Someone could be getting put out of their house. Someone could be put getting put out in the cold. Someone could be getting left out, okay? Especially if this person is, like, violent or abusive, okay? Someone could, like, you could feel like you, you have to put someone out. Or someone could be upset with you because you already put them out, Aquarius. Yeah, sunglasses, like a person that, you know, has a black eye and they have to wear sunglasses. So some of you are definitely dealing with the abusive person or you are the abuser. Take it how it resonates. 
Aquarius. So you could be an abusive person or you're dealing with an abusive person and either you're being put out or you're putting someone else out because you can't hide it anymore. Okay, or someone could have grew up in a relationship where you watched your mother be abused by your father or your father be abused by your mother, okay? Or you just grew up watching some type of domestic violence situation. Some of you could have watched your mother get abused or even if you didn't see it, your mother could have went through an abusive relationship and you're repeating the cycle. Like you're dancing in circles with your mother, repeating the cycle. All right. And then you got, wow, you got a sleeping bag and a tent. Someone's definitely being put out, okay, Aquarius. Okay, now some of you on the surface level, okay, some of you could be traveling, um, you could be getting an Airbnb, you can be going camping, anything like that, but you're definitely putting someone out, okay, or someone is putting you out. If you're a parent, you could be putting a child out because maybe this child done lost their mind and they done try to stand up to you like they gonna fight you or say, you know, these kids these days. So you could be putting someone out. If you're a parent, you could be putting a child out or you could be putting your spouse out or someone that, oh, excuse me, someone that betrayed you in the past could be getting put out, losing their home, having to sleep outside in the cold, in a tent, in a sleeping bag. Even if it's not literally a tent in a sleeping bag, it ain't no house, okay? Because of their abusive behaviors that they could have picked up from a parent. There's something going on with a child, a parent, and a spouse here. So this is either you, your parent, your child, you, your child, and the other parent of your child, or however it resonates, okay? But someone's definitely getting put out, all right? Someone could be thinking about moving. But someone's being left out in the cold, okay? And this person could have even, you know, like people who usually rob the bank or con, I'm getting con artist energy with these shades, okay? These sunglasses. For some of you, you could have Leo highly aspected in your chart. You could have a Leo parent with the sunglasses card. Leo rules the sun. All right. Or this could be a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius, a fire sign, all right? Someone's being put out. Being left out in the cold because enough is enough. All right, yeah, that Jennifer Lopez movie, Enough. Where that man kept putting his hands on her and she had enough. Get creative. You had to get creative in order to get someone out your life, okay? Or someone was getting too creative with playing you. But that Jenna, that J-Lo movie where she had to protect herself and her child from that man because he just was abusive. He just was crazy, okay? When she went and took her some boxing lessons and put a whooping on him. So some of you, this is, yeah, someone could have abused you, all right? And maybe you got out, but you had to get creative with how to get out. And then maybe now it's repeating through your child. Okay, or some of you, like I said, this could be your mom that went through this. Or your dad. All right, but this week you're, you're getting very creative with something, okay? With how to handle a certain situation or a person. I feel like someone can no longer play these tricks or games on you. It's like you see right through someone right now. Nicki Minaj, you see right through me. How do you do that shit? Yeah, Nicki Minaj is a Sagittarius. All right, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. 
digest your past. You were definitely ab abused in your past for some of you, okay? Or you watched your parent go through an abusive situation. Or some of you, your own parents could have abused you, okay? Let's not leave that out. You could have grew up in a very abusive home, physically, mentally, or spiritually. But someone who abused you is being left out in the cold for many of you. They're losing their apartment, their home. You got the red salmon card, navigate life with determination, and you also got the slide into joy. All right, so I feel like you, ludicrous, disturbing the peace. All right, someone was disturbing your peace. You may have had to put this person out or even just cut this person out of your life because you were just determined to live a life of peace and joy, okay? So it's like you may have had to cut something off. You may have had to let go of someone from your past or something from your past. You may have had to find a creative way of doing it, okay? And I feel like this person could have had a hold on you for a while. And I feel like maybe this week, for, if you haven't already gotten out this week, you're just determined to not let someone interfere with your happiness anymore. Because for some of you, it's just like this person was living rent-free in your head. And whatever this person did to you, which is repeating itself rent-free in your head. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the same sex. With the rainbow here, you could be a part of the LGBTQ and whatever other letters they done added. No offense. Community. But I feel like, yeah, you've had to find a creative way to let go of something or someone from your past. Okay. And you had to be very determined about it. Okay, because this person was just either mentally, physically, or... Um, verbally abusive. This person also could have just left you out in the cold, okay? This person could have abandoned you, rejected you. This could be a parent, all right? This could be a spouse or whatever, but this person could have also left you out in the cold where you had to find refuge in yourself. This person could have just walked out of your life, okay? And didn't look back, just left you high and dry to deal with things on your own, okay? It's going to be a parent to your child where this person kind of just left you and the, ch the children, all right? And you've had to, like, be very determined to get to a place of happiness, slide into joy. The river ardor. This could definitely be a water sign because you have the river otter and the red salmon card. Both of these live in water, okay? You also have the butterfly. Scorpio is death and rebirth. And the butterfly is transformation. But this is the monarch butterfly, red and orange. I'm sorry, orange and black. Scorpio is in around Halloween time, orange and black. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a water sign. Or either a fire sign as well. Specifically Aries, because Scorpio and Aries both are ruled by Mars. Okay, aggression. Someone was very aggressive towards you the last time you interacted with this person. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Okay, definitely a water sign somewhere in this picture. But the Ace of Cups is the potential for a new emotional fulfillment. Okay. A new emotional beginning and that comes right after slide into joy so i feel like you're starting new okay you're finding your own happiness okay i feel like at one point you may have depended on this person for happiness okay yeah but with the four of pentacles okay um the four of pentacles is a capricorn card and it's about holding on okay i feel like you really did try to hold on to this person or this situation, okay, for as long as you could, okay, someone from your past. I feel like you, there's a, a fresh start coming from you, coming for you, but you really did try to hold on to someone, okay, for
for a while because you may care about this person you may really do love this person so you really tried to hold on now for some of you this is you holding on to the pain that someone caused you all right but with the four of pentacles you definitely was like holding on too tight or someone was like possessive and controlling over you didn't want to let you go didn't want to let you move on to start a new beginning Okay, take it how it resonates. Either you didn't want to let someone go to start a new, a new beginning or someone doesn't want to see you happy without them. All right, yeah, Capricorn energy, devil energy. This was someone who was just in a very depressed state, okay? Someone who just did not love themselves. Someone who dealt with a lot of mental issues, a lot of childhood trauma, addictions, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction, just very promiscuous, okay? And you may have thought you could help this person or save this person, but this person just was vibrating off low energy. Okay? Low energy. You can't save nobody who's just not ready to be saved. Okay? Yeah. And now you have the Four of Swords. Okay? Regret. Missed opportunities. All right. So, Aquarius, take it how it resonates, but I feel like there's definitely a water sign out there who feels like they missed the opportunity with you. Okay, missed a chance at a new beginning with you because either they couldn't get it right or they they couldn't get it right. They couldn't get out of this devil energy, okay? Or either you could be feeling like you missed the opportunity with someone because holding on too tight and not willing to let something go and happen in its own way, kind of forcing your own will. Okay, but there's this very obsessive. This is a Capricorn card. This is a Capricorn card. The energy that I'm getting is very obsessed. I feel like there's someone who is obsessed over you, Aquarius, okay? And you need to protect yourself. I'm just going to tell you straight up. Someone is obsessed over you. They don't want to let you go. They may not want to do right either. They may, may not be in the process of doing right by you, but they also don't want to let you go, okay? Because they feel like if you actually move on and become happy with somebody else, they know it's over. Okay, so someone is in their devil energy, they're in their devil card energy, and they don't, they're, they're, this person is trying to block any new beginning that you could have with someone else. This person may have found out that you're interested in someone else, or they may just have a feeling that you are getting over them, you're digesting your past, you're moving on, you're no longer obsessed over them. This person could have thought that you would always be obsessed over them, that you would always just keep coming back. Like I said, Krishan, Rock, and Blueface, they, they thought you would never leave, okay? Only to look up and you're, you're, they either feel you distancing yourself or they, they, they're picking up on some type of change, okay? And now they feel like this could be a lever as well. They feel like they missed out on the opportunity with you, okay? They're regretting. They're in their feelings. They're anxious right now because they... Feel like something ain't right this person has changed this person used to always um chase me she ain't chasing me no more i'm messing up and she just letting me mess up he just letting me yeah i said dental this person could have dental problems or you could this person has a lot they want to say to you but they still in this devil energy but this person does not want to see you get a new beginning okay this person could have abused you you hold your head high no matter what okay aquarius this person could have this person could have physically assaulted you all right and they i think hmm you could be celibate or they could want to make love to you they could miss the love making that you guys used to make or you if you are celibate you wondering how much longer you gonna have to be celibate okay This is definitely someone you have children with and they, they don't, un you or this person don't understand why things had to play out the way that they did. Okay. This person is depressed without you. This person is being left out in the cold. This person is embarrassed for the way that they treated you. They're too embarrassed to even come back and say, I'm sorry. All right. When you're too emotional, don't act. Be still, okay? This person acted off of their emotions, acted off of being hurt. That's why they put their hands on you, okay? For, the, for those who that resonates with, they were hurt. 
either because you were walking away or because they let you down and they knew they couldn't live up to the potential, but they still didn't want to see you with anybody else. Yeah, this person is balling out crying, okay? This person could have thought they was balling financially at one point, but now they're being left out in the cold. Yeah, look, pack. They're having to pack up their stuff and go, Aquarius. An air sign deals with the wind, okay? So this could be a another air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But they're gone with the wind. Just, hmm. This person could be dark, okay? Or just have this very dark energy. Ooh. Oh, this is not good. This person, this, this is not good. This person is either carrying an STD or a, a sexually transmitted disease or a spiritually transmitted disease. This person is on demon time. Okay, this person is on demon time. This is not good. This person could have even given you an STD. Mm, November, baby, this person could be a Scorpio. I said that. Scorpio is November. But this person still feels like there's no one like you. They're realizing that, but their pride, their pride. I'm going to do three more. Blended family. Okay, so this probably if you don't have children from this person, this person has kids from someone, you have kids from someone, okay? And you may have been like a good step parent to their child even. This person wants to marry you. This person wants another chance. Round and round we go. But you feel like you made it too far, okay? You feel like you're finally getting your joy and your peace. This person could like basketball. This person's name could be Mike or Michael. And yeah, this person is still telling half-truths. This person's not being completely honest or upfront. All right, Aquarius? That's the message that I have for you this week. Peace.